Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are in Cathedral Caverns. Come check it out with me. It's gonna be awesome. In this video, I toured Cathedral Caverns along with Jonathan and a friend of mine's family. Cathedral Caverns State Park is an amazing tourist cave located in the hills and small mountains near Woodville, Alabama, just 30 miles east of Huntsville and it is one of the best tourist caves in the region. The cave was first opened to the public by Jacob Gurley in the 1950s and was purchased by the state of Alabama in 1987. Alabama reopened the cave as a state park in 2000. The path through the cave is smooth and paved with only a few mild ups and downs and the round trip distance is 1.3 miles. Cave tours are scheduled throughout the day most days, but I highly recommend that you get your tickets online in advance as especially on weekends, most cave tours sell out. So come along with us. This is a really cool tour. That's the entrance to the Cathedral Caverns right there. Oh, yeah. To see the root system of those trees. Uh-huh. Hanging over the edge there. <laughs> Isn't that wild? So thin. Well, yeah, how shallow those roots have to be. Yeah. Those trees. Sure. We are at Cathedral Caverns near Woodville, Alabama. And we're getting ready for a cave tour. It's 126 feet wide and 25 feet tall. What you see right there is just how Mother Nature left it. It had not been altered by man in any way. The river that flows through the cavern today from the back to the front and is flowing under our feet even at this minute carved all of that out over thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Up until the mid 80s, the Beagle Caverns was in private ownership. But in the mid 90s, after the cave had been shut down for 10 years and had fallen into a state of disrepair, the state of Alabama bought it and started fixing it up. <laughs> it's foggy in here. Look at the fog. <laughs> Over thousands and thousands of years, creatures in the ocean and plant life die and settle to the bottom. Yeah. As that builds up and builds up, it eventually becomes rock and forms different layers. You can see the different layers in the limestone over there. It's even more pronounced over here on this wall where you see this vein of minerals running through right here. Today we call those chert nodules, but according to our cave naturalists, what those used to be right there were sponges on the floor of an ocean. There is a shark's tooth. There's another smaller shark's tooth located right there. Those are two of several hundred shark's teeth that have been found throughout the Cathedral Caverns. No, Mr. Gurley did not glue that up there, and neither did we. That's right where the shark lost it, and right where Mother Nature left it. Wow, so cool. All of that is relatively new growth, and all of that is coming from those tiny little stalactites up there on the ceiling. You'll also notice a big crack in the lights with a big chunk missing. The big chunk is right there, turned upside down. Now we can only guess what caused this formation and some others to crack. But in 1810, there was a huge earthquake that was centered on the St. Madras Fault. The St. Madras Fault basically follows the Mississippi River. When that earthquake occurred, it opened up a huge crater in Northwest Tennessee that today people know as Real Foot Lake. History records that the Mississippi River flowed backwards for three days to fill up that crater. It was during that earthquake when it thought that all of these formations here in this cave were broken. Wait, Goliath, the giant. 
Yep, that's its name. They call that rock Goliath. He passed away about four years before the state completed the renovation. Because he was the original developer of the cave, they named this bridge in his honor. Before the state put in the concrete walkways, had you come on a tour here, you'd have to go down that narrow pathway over there on the wall. Now there's places where that pathway is only about 18 inches wide, and it's mud, which means it's slick. It's also banked the wrong way because it sloped toward the drop-off, not toward the wall. Now, as a little boy, I remember coming here as a kid when I was about five or six years old, and I remember coming down that pathway. But what I really remember about the pathway is not the pathway so much as the death grip my mother had on my arm as we came down that pathway. <laughs> They can put an indelible mark on me from that. If you look down here below, you'll notice the river. This is the river that formed Cathedral Caverns. It still flows from the back of the cave to the front of the cave, goes underneath our gift shop, and comes out in the next valley over. You'll also notice this old bridge down here. Mr. Gurley built that after he got the tunnel dug. He had an old military surplus chief, and they say he'd get a running start off that hill hit the bridge at about 30 miles an hour to get up the other side. People ask me how high have I seen the water in this room. I've seen the water up over the top rail of this bridge that we're standing on. We were kayaking in here. <laughs> Literally. Okay, right now we're in what we believe to be the tallest room in the Cleveland Capitol. When Mr. Gurley made it back here, he felt like this probably was the tallest room. So he went out and got a balloon and some fishing line, and he went down and did it and got over the fish out right here. He tied the fishing line onto the balloon and turned it loose and let it drift up until he hit the high point on the ceiling here above it. He marked the string, went out, and measured it, measured it, and it was 110 feet. Now, to put that into perspective, that's about enough room that you can put an eight to ten story building in here. It's a little slick. I think we're in the most beautiful room of the Cathedral Cavern. I could talk about this room all day long, but whatever I say would not do it justice. So I'm just going to turn the light on and let y'all enjoy it. Are you ready? He convinced her to come back here, and when she got back here, she looked up here and saw these, and she said, Jay, that reminds me of a pipe over in the cathedral. Looking at these massive columns right here, she said, Jay, that reminds me of the pearly gates. Looking at all the beauty down here and all the different formations, she told him, she said, Jay, this is more beautiful than any picture of any cathedral I've ever seen anywhere in the world. That day, in her honor, he named the cave Cathedral Cavern. That's how the people got his name.
Cheese bacon. See water still dripping into the pool here. We call the most improbable. The reason for that is growing on a rock is at a 45 degree angle on the floor of the cave. Mark is growing pretty much straight up. You can walk over there and like to touch it. Okay, if you didn't have a cell phone and didn't have a camera, how many of you think you could find your way out of here? <laughs> Just gorgeous. Which way do you want to go? We're going to go left. We're going to go left, yeah. <laughs> Ah, this is so cool. Yeah, but you and you know if your blink ain't going off or not? Nope. You don't know if your blink ain't going off or not? This is cool. This is one of my favorite vantage points. No, no, no. They just do because of the water. So, do you know the uh, movie uh, Tom and Huck? It was a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the cave scene in that movie was filmed right down there. Oh. Right, right there. They, they crawled along behind the, uh, those stalag uh, stalactites down there. Wow, the view here is spectacular. Yeah. Isn't that just awesome? So cool, looking down the cave. So pretty down that can. That it's like a canyon, but <laughs> what a tunnel! So over there is the old path through where the river runs. And the old bridge is it for the Jeep is down below here. And we are on the new bridge, which is a whole lot easier. <laughs> and you can see the river running right down here. It goes under the bridge. And it comes out over here and goes off that way towards the entrance of the cave. We are back to Goliath. There's a pretty good echo in this room. Hello? It's loud. <laughs> Just keeps echoing. <laughs> See here. What we got? The, the rock is just freshly growing. I was showing them how this is growing new, new mini stalactites right there. This is the old way into the tunnel. There's stairs right here that go down a ramp. Yeah, and then uh, down to the river, and you'd crawl up through along the in the water there, and you'd come out over by Goliath.
the fog. We're getting, that means we're close to the entrance. <laughs> See, here's the uh, gate. And there's the entrance. Not yet, but you will. <laughs> That fogged up my lens. We are back to the entrance to the cave. And uh, we are about to go from spring right into summer here. <laughs> All right, we are back outside, back to summer. Thanks for coming along, it was fun.